of Jesus Christ is lifted high. To be my Lord and Savior, take my life. Thank you, Jesus. Join us today in worshiping Jesus Christ. This is Calgary, Canada, a city being impacted by the power of God. Street Church Ministry serves and shares the good news with the spiritually poor on the streets of this beautiful city. In this episode, you'll see our Christmas festival and all the miraculous things God did during our time in the community. The Spirit brought joy, laughter, and cheer as we handed out Bibles, toys, and the gift of God's Son, Jesus Christ. Many children came to know Jesus personally as families played together and enjoyed a wonderful barbecue. Welcome to Street Church. We know you'll be blessed. Praise God. Well, we want to welcome you today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in a church under the biggest roof in the world. Amen. You see, you got media, you got all the people around you, and every one of them, it seems, has its own idea for Christmas. And we will tell you today what Christmas is all about. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Why do we call it Holy Day? What about those holy days that we celebrate? You know, we use the word holiday, but we forgot that was mentioned and a purpose was to have it a holy day, into God day. Amen?
yourself, kids. Having a good time, but you know what? In a few minutes, you will be laughing and smiling because every one of you will receive a gift. You like gifts or you don't? Maybe I'm not in the right neighborhood. And you will receive too, you know. Uh, were you good? Were you behaving yourself? Do you think he deserves a gift? Or just work? Or just work? Let, you know, no, you work. This is your gift. You can be a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we in the right neighborhood? Yes. You sure? Yes. Uh, that was that was not so sure. I want to hear it. Are we in the right neighborhood? Yes. Oh man! Uh, what was that? That was like roaring lions, guys. That was awesome. So. Little ones, come, come, come a little bit closer so we can see you. Before we can give you gifts, we're going to talk about the gift of God for you. Can you hear me okay here? Yeah, okay, awesome. So I will ask Louis. Louis will come and he will tell you about this beautiful gift of God. From his heart to you. You know what that kind of gift? You know what the name of that gift is? Life, that's right, but life is Jesus. Let me ask you guys something. Are you guys ready? I'm going to be doing some questions and answers. Who knows, who's good at that? Who knows a lot? Who's the smartest person here? Oh, you're pretty smart, you're pretty smart, you're pretty smart. All right. I'm going to ask you guys a question. What is the meaning of Christmas? Family and friends. Family and friends? Jesus' birthday. All right. Okay. Who, how many of you guys give presents on your birthday? You give people presents on your birthday? No. It's quick. You get presents on your birthday. But you want to know something? It's Jesus' birthday. Do you know that he came to give us presents and not to get presents? Yeah, that's right. Now let me ask you guys another question. Who is Jesus? He just said that Jesus is the Son of God. Yeah? No, you got it right. How many of you guys believe in God? Is that all of you? Okay, let me ask you guys, who made this shoe? How do you know somebody made it? How do you know it just didn't appear there? Because, yeah, yeah, you know it didn't make it. So how do you know? So where did you come from? Who made you? Who made you? No, oh, yeah, who made you? Are you sure it wasn't the guy who made my shoes? Okay, it's not the guy who made my shoes, all right. So God made every single one of you. Now, are you guys always good? All the time good? Okay. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Right on, you guys are great. I got a question for you though. A couple of questions. Have you guys ever heard of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, yeah you guys have heard of the Ten Commandments? No. Okay, prove it. Somebody gotta give me one. Somebody got you in the, in the green in the back. You know what this, this young man said? He said, don't commit adultery. He said, don't commit adultery. That's one. Somebody gotta give me another one. She said, you, you shall not steal. How many of you guys have ever stole something? Be honest. Okay, so you guys have stole something, right? Okay, can somebody give me another Ten Commandments? He said, don't kill. Do you know what Jesus, the Son of God, said? Hold on, guys, you gotta relax. Do you know what Jesus, the Son of God, said? He said, if you're angry at somebody, you already murdered them in your heart, and you're guilty as a murderer. How many of you guys have been mad at somebody before? You guys have been mad at somebody before. Does that mean, did you know that that means that you, you, you murder somebody inside? All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, who can give me one more? I will. Thou shalt respect your mother and your father. How many of you guys always obey your parents? Parents? 
Should that be your hand up? Do you guys always obey your parents or no? Sometimes? So that means no, that means you don't all the time. Because sometimes you mean you don't all the time. And I know what it's like to be a kid. You always respect your parents? You always obey them? He's a unified boy, he says. But we don't always obey our parents, and in God's eyes, that's a sin. Now what happens when you break a law? You go to jail when you break a law, that's right. What happens when you break one of God's laws? That's why right, you hurt God. God is hurt when we break His laws. God is hurt every time you're angry, and God's hurt every time you disobey your parents. What else happens when you disobey God's law? Who knows? You get sad when you break God's law. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Okay, somebody's got to give me an answer. What else happens when you break God's law? What happens? She said you go to hell. So it's like when you get when you get mad at somebody, right? When you get mad at somebody, there's something that can happen. You can go to a bad place. Have you guys ever heard of that before? Yeah. So what do you do when how do you get right with God after you've done something bad? Okay, what if, are you guys listening? I got a situation for you and I want you guys to answer. What if I did something really bad, something I could go to jail for, but then I did nice things all week? Would I still be guilty of what I did? Yeah. You see, you'd still be guilty. And it's the same way with us. We're still guilty, even though we ask God forgiveness and even though we still do things wrong. But when Jesus came, who's Jesus? The Son of God came. Do you know what happened when he was born? Angels started singing. And do you know what else happened? He lived and he healed the sick. What else did Jesus do when he was alive? Does anybody know? He died on the cross. Nathaniel says he died on the cross. How many of you guys know why Jesus would die on the cross for us? The Son of God. Why? That's right. Jesus wanted to set us free because we've all broken God's Ten Commandments. How many of you guys have broken God's Ten Commandments? Yeah, but how many of you guys have broken one of the Ten Commandments at least? God says that means you're guilty of all of them. And that means we all are very, should be afraid of God. How many of you are afraid of your parents when they get mad? Yeah. How many of you guys are afraid of God when he gets mad? Well, here's the thing. God provided us a way to be forgiven forever. Because when Jesus died on the cross, all of God's anger for us, instead of taking it out on us, He took it out on Jesus. And Jesus took all of God's anger and He died. And He went to the tomb for three days. Have you guys ever met somebody that rose from the dead? He says He knows one man who got raised from the dead. His name is Jesus. And He rose to life. And where is Jesus right now? In heaven. Jesus is in heaven. And you know you know how you guys can be forgiven for your sins? Is when you ask Jesus in. How many of you guys want to be forgiven for bad things you've done against God? How many of you guys want to pray right now and ask Jesus into your heart? How many of you guys want to pray? Okay, we're going to say this prayer and then I'm going to give out some special presents for you guys. Every, okay? You guys ready? You guys want to pray? Okay, close your eyes, bow your head, and think about Jesus, because he's right here and he hears you. And he knows if you mean it, deep down. And just say, Jesus, I have done wrong against you. Please forgive me. I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose again the third day. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my friend and my Savior. Amen. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Did you guys know that you can talk to Jesus whenever you want? 
How many of you guys are, are, are getting a little bit scared at night when it's dark? Some of you? Some of you? I did until I was kind of old, and I got scared in the dark. Did you know that whenever you're scared at night, in the dark, do you know you, what name you can use? And every bad thing and every monster runs away from? Jesus! If you say the name of Jesus, every monster runs away and every evil thing has to run away. Did you guys know that? Yes. Alright, how many of you guys can read? Raise your hand. I got a special gift for everybody who can read. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Papa's man. Oh, I can read. Whoa, no. All right, everybody who can read, come up here. I got a special gift for you. All right, you can read. Everybody who knows how to read, come here. I got a special gift for you. All right, oh, let me get that up. Only the guys who can read. Oh, help me out here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you can read. Are you sure? You promise? Alright, hold on. Alright. Yeah, there you go. Okay, are you guys listening? All you guys who can read who got one of these. Shout Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Alright, we got some, some gift for you. But first I want to make you guys a challenge. How many of you guys want to be challenged? How many of you guys think you can handle this challenge? All right, I got a challenge for warriors, but it's only for warriors. If you want to be a warrior for God, do you know what you got to do? I'm going to make you this challenge. Read that book a day, every day, even a little bit, even a couple sentences every day. And I want you to talk to Jesus once a day. That's the challenge to you. But it's every day, even if you're tired. Every day, read a little bit of that book. And every day, talk to Jesus just a little bit. You guys can take that challenge? And anybody who didn't get one of these books who can read, my friend is going to go get some more and we got some for you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Happy birthday! Let's say happy birthday, Jesus! Happy birthday, Jesus! Right on, guys. You guys are awesome. Have you met my friend Fluffy here? Yes! Everybody say Merry Christmas, Fluffy! Merry Christmas, Fluffy! All right, you guys are awesome. Somebody's got to give Fluffy a hug. Who's the first one to give Fluffy a hug? Oh, yeah. Nobody punched Fluffy. That's not true. All right. Okay, how many warriors are here? Are there still warriors here? There's are still warriors? Show me, the, show me your sword. Lay them, roll them above your head. Right there. These books are your sword. Put them above your head if you got them. All right, that's how you win. All right, you got a warrior here. You want to be a warrior? I'm a warrior. For who? That's right, a warrior for God. Okay, I got one more question for you guys. How many of you guys would like to ask Jesus for a present this year? How many of you guys need some peace in your home? Maybe, maybe, you, maybe there's fighting or something going on, or maybe you're not doing so good at school and you, you want help from that. You want God to help you. Well, if there's anybody that wants, wants help from Jesus in any special way, me and, my, me and my friend up here, his name is Lawrence, and my name is Louie, and you can come talk to us, and we'd love to pray with you. If there's anything going on in your home or in your family that, that you want Jesus to help you with, even if it's your grades or anything, okay, guys? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! And don't go anywhere, because we're giving away toys in a minute. Pete, are you ready for presents? Fluffy, why don't you get all the kids here? Gather them together. Be a good dog. Be a good gathering dog. Bring the kids here. Bring them to us. Kids, are you ready for presents? You don't want to miss that. Come. So I want to ask you a question. You heard this man speak, right? You heard him? What was he talking about? Jesus. We are talking about Jesus. We want you to remember that God loves you very much. You're special. He loves you even if something goes wrong. Even if there are terrible things around us. We want you to remember that God loves you. He loves you very much. And you know why I know that? You know why I know He loves you very much? Because he sends us here to let you know that, to tell you about this. He says, gather all the supplies I provided for you and go to this neighborhood and tell those kids 
I love them. Not only he loves you, he loves your parents as well. Okay? So now you have a sword. Now you have a prayer. Right? And when something goes wrong in your house or somewhere else, just pray. And ask this mighty, beautiful God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to help you. And he will. When there will be a tear, a tear in your eyes, just say, Jesus, would you wipe this tear away? Would you come and help me? Would you remember this? This is the most important thing about Christmas. Christmas is not about shopping or presents. This is good stuff. But it's about the gift of God for you. So, I will... Okay, guys, you give me a, a room, right? Remember? Because last festival we did a week ago, I almost lost my boots. Okay, I almost, almost went home barefoot. So, we will be opening this stuff, and who wants that toy? Is going to jump the highest possible. Okay? So this one, who would like this one? Okay, we have a nice bear. Who would like this one? You. Okay. You, okay. How about this one? Okay, cut. And guys, there are more stuff, so you wait. Yeah, okay. How about this little one? I have here a nice dog. Oh. Now we're trying to choose. Okay. I'll give you more. How about this one? Not this one. Wait, there is more. Don't worry. This is a cute one. <laughs> okay, leave it be behind. How about nice this dog? This one? Okay, for you. How about this one? Little bear. God bless you. And guys, remember all those gifts. All those gifts are in the name of Jesus Christ for you. Who was that dog? That's a cute dog. Maybe I'll take Okay. Who would like to have this? Okay, what about this one? How about this one? Okay, for you, man. Kids, if you don't have anything yet, come. Who likes who likes to play? For the and I got this, but this is not to fit, this is to play. How about this? Christmas is all about? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, love manifested in flesh. You were right, love. Because God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whoever will believe in Him will not perish but will find everlasting life. So bless you, kids. Grab something to drink, to eat. Have a good time.
God chooses to use men and women like you and I to be a part of his kingdom work. He chooses to use us to be his hands and feet in a lost world, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. He wants to use you too. Just like Moses, he called Moses and Moses says, who am I? But God says it doesn't matter who you are, it matters who I am. Who made your mouth? Who makes you speak? It's God who makes us speak. We have seen on the streets of Calgary, God raise up men and women in the church with many weaknesses, myself included. But God works through our weaknesses. When we are weak, He is strong. Will you step out in your village or city or town? Will you step out for Jesus and be intentional about evangelism? Every second, seven people die. Heaven or hell, do you love them enough to tell them about Jesus? He said, he said, I am the way. I am the truth. You are the salt of the earth. All men will hate you because of me. I am the light. Go, 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 go proclaim the gospel. You are the light of the world. You will be persecuted. No one comes to the Father but by me. Therefore, we are not ashamed of the gospel. Here I am, Lord. Send me. Send me. Please, tell them about Jesus. For more information, visit streetchurch.ca.